Hi everyone, I just want to make a quick tutorial how to make this series distance material into a designer because it's so simple and I think it can help a few people. And here I'm just using like a shell that I made and I can change the, the model and you will see that it sort of gives like this really nice uh, shiny look to it and it's really simple. So let's make it. All you need is an arc ball geometry. If you bring the palette, you will see this uh, under tools, arc ball geometry. And we need it because we are using the rotation of the camera to change the light. And that's what gives like this effect, which is actually just a bit of magic that it happens. <laughs> Let's just make it. So inside the Arcball geometry, the easiest way to do this uh, is to delete all the geometry. So we're going to delete all of this. And then we're going to add the input. This way you can give whatever geometry you want. And from the input, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to comp and geometry. And this will automatically create it for us, the input and the output. So it's already connected. We're going to delete also this material. We don't need it. And I will connect the shell. Put it here. Now you can see I see my shell. And I can actually not move it. Oh, why? Well, we have to parent the geometry to the ArcGeo, like this. And now if I have inside, there you go. It's now connected. Perfect. Now, how is it if it's really easy? Well, we need uh, two things. We need a light and we need a material to show the light, make a bit of space. And the actual trick is to use a noise in order to color the light. And what you want to do is to make this noise quite small, like 64 by 64 should be fine, and then make it colored. This way, if you untoggle monochrome, we have this RGBA active. And then we want the light, which is an environment light, which is this one. Now we bring it here, and it needs an environment map. So we're going to use this noise as the map, and you bring it here, and nothing happens. Why? Well, we don't have a material to actually show that the light is there, and what we're going to use is a PBR. And this is uh, quite a nice material. Uh, we can read what it is. I forgot already. Yeah, physically based rendering. Perfect. What you want is to drag the PVR on top of your geometry and the material. And now you're going to see that it changes. And if we bring down the roughness, ta-da, you already have it. Isn't that easy? Now, if I go one level above and I make this arcball geometry active, I can rotate it. But it sort of works already a little bit, you can see. But the effect is not that strong, although it's already there. It's kind of nice. And then our color of the it is distance is going to be given by the noise. So if I change the seat here, you will see that we just change the palette. If you want to have a more cohesive palette, all you need to do is to increase the period and just see what happens when I make this like five. It's like we zoom in in the actual noise. So if I will just show you like that, we are zooming in this noise. So if you put it at five, our palette is more cohesive. Although maybe this specific seat is a bit strange. You can just find your own seat and say, oh, this looks nice. Now I have my thing. Now, the trick here that I did, which you see is a lot more accentuated than it's happening here, it's really simple. It's actually using the transform matrix of the arc geo to transform the noise. What I mean by that is that the noise can be rotated. For example, if I rotate like this, you will see that I already get that effect, right? Well, the trick here is to connect the arc geo with that value. It's really simple. I'm going to right click here to view the container, which will allow me to move it. And you will be able to see how the table is now changing. All you have to do is to bring here that value. So make the rotate open. I'll just do it in the Z, do it whatever you want. Bring the transform matrix operator. You do it like that. And then we need to access a value. I will just use a cell. I will just access the first cell. And when it becomes blue, now the values are connected. And if I move it, you see slight rotation there, but nothing much. Uh, it's because this value goes from 0 to 1. Well, mana is 1 to 1. So all you need to do is to multiply it by 90, for example. Now your noise color changes, but as we move, we see like that really nice and neat color change. That it is that sense is already there. It's really cool. This art ball, if you move it around, it will change. Now you already see how you can adjust these values. If I multiply this by 20, 
the rotation will be less exaggerated, so it becomes a little bit more subtle. We can change the seat of the noise to change the palette, which is really cool. Look at that. And we can change the period to make it uh, less different. You can see how it becomes more homogeneous. And now it's a little bit too much, maybe. You can play with that. If you have a high period, I would recommend to multiply for a less value because then the rotation is more exaggerated. So do by two, for example. You can find, maybe that's too little, like five. Well, that will be up to you to find a cool aesthetic for it, which is quite nice. I'll just leave it like that, 25 or something. Perfect, beautiful. Although this seat is not, ah, this is nice, look at that. Ooh -hoo. Then we have the PBR, as you can see, we have the roughness, which will give it more or less metallicness. Right, it will allow more metallic to be going through. At zero roughness, you can see it's actually just going like a lot. And if you increase it, put it a bit on the middle, you can also reduce the metallicness and play with it. And this is it, technically. Now you already have a component that you can activate and you have like this iridescence and you can change the objects, like for example, like this, and you will have that really cool look to it. This was uh, quick and easy to set up, so I hope it's hope, uh, helpful. And uh, you can download it. Just leave a, a link and just grab it and play with it. Okay, see you.